चलो स्टार्ट भरे च नहीं जी पर वर्ष्ट 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 यशा वर्ष्ट 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 विस्पच वर्ष्ट वर्ष्ट यह You may get locked out in two minutes. Please re-log in again, huh? Chalo ji. Ratum. Continue reading grammatical. Bol. Ratum. Accusative singular of Ratu, which means lord or master. Okay. Berezan tem. Accusative singular of berez berezat. Exalted present participle parasmaya pada from root bere bere is to exalt. Bere is. There are some familiar words I would have told. Uh, does anyone remember? Bere is related some proper noun names. Does anyone remember? Gozi. <coughs> हाँ जी वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेरेज इज बूर्स बूर्स इज रिलेटेड टू हाई दैट इज हवा इट इज अलबूर्स माउंटेन बूर्स खलीफा ओके विच व्हाट एनी अदर वर्ड प्रॉपर नाउन बेरेज इज तो रिलेटेड बर्जोर बर्जोरियस हम्म चलो ओके आगे चलो बेरेज इन व्हाट डू यू स्टेप बूर्स इस उनाउनोज हाँ जी ना रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू या हैव आई शेयर द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन का डिक्लेनेशन टेबल विथ यू एज एन ईमेल नो 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 सर नो सर पक्का यस यू नो सर ओके सो रिमाइंड मी आई विल शेयर दैट आल्सो यू मे टेक अ प्रिंट आउट एंड एज एन व्हेन यू यू कम अक्रॉस न्यू वर्ड्स पुट देम इन द अप्रोप्रिएट प्लेस nominative accusative yo is your nominative ma yim is an accusative but i have made a relative pronoun ka table of the matlab the senior students had already prepared i'll share that with you chalo yo asa hai is genitive singular thai gyo apano temo apano temo sir excuse me excuse me sir why are we going into nominative singular now why not accusative because no we are talking about aura masda ne aura masda ne qualities ma bole ऑब्जेक्ट है ओके So why is it becoming nominative singular? You, we are still talking about him, right? If I say we learn from Cyrus, sir, 
who is exalted who is knowledgeable who is this thing you are still the object you don't suddenly become the subject so you may say that way but we are the subject as as i as i've said as i've said grammatically your analysis has to be the way it appears while writing your translation you may say it is uh, accuse nominative used in the sense of accusative but here yo yo is for nominative yin is for accusative so when you are doing a grammatical translation you we'll just go by what the word appears the way it is But then shouldn't they have used him again? Why are they using you? But they at least whom are we talking about? The one who would have written the prayer. We don't know who would have written. Why they have written this way, na? They at least who would have written. Ah, ji. May I interrupt you? Yeah, feel free. Uh, sorry, I I'll have to talk very quickly because I am staying with some guests who are fast asleep. Ah, these are two sentences. Yeah. yeah break it up. I like to break it up into two sentences. We worship. We worship our Mazda. So there, we is the subject. Our Mazda is okay. the that okay. who is the no who is the subject pronoun. Break up. Break break it up into two sentences. I don't know whether I'm getting it clear. We yeah, yeah. we worship. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, sorry, we worship. Sorry. Uh, we worship. Sorry. Lord Cyrus. Master, who is Aura Mazda. Yes. We worship Cyrus. Right? Yes. So Lord Aura Mazda is that way. It is a subject. No, Lord Aura Mazda is the exalted person. Right. Starting with new as a pronoun. So who yes. is? Yes. A uh, who is always a subject pronoun. Mm-hmm. Whom is the object pronoun? W H O M is the object okay. pronoun. Okay. Okay. Hmm? So here it should be nominative then. Yes, it is a nominative. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Asha hai, apna tema, Asha hai, what is your genitive singular? Or apna tema also we have done na, I think. Tema is superlative degree termination added to apna means upper, so uppermost. Asha hai apna tema. So who is uppermost for righteousness or holiness? Yo Asha hai jagmush tema. Jagmush tema word also we have done. Most helping, most reaching out for help is Jagmush Tema word. So meaning will be we venerate the exalted Lord who is over. Excuse me, excuse me, Cyrus sir. Can I Hello, ask Jasmine. you a question? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, in, uh, sorry, I should have asked this a long time back. But the word Mazda, Maz, in our Mazda, Mazdam, in Mazdam explanation it says. Um, Maz meaning great and da means knowledge. So is that yes? That's correct. Yes, da means knowledge because before you said from da to give to create. Yeah, yeah. Da to know. Yeah. Yeah. It is da to know. Yes, yes. Therapy but here they da to know. Yes. Yeah, but here they've written da means knowledge. So here they are talking as a noun. Yes. It is yeah. Da means knowledge. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, sir. Sorry. It is I again. <laughs> What does this mean? The most helping of holiness. Righteousness could be the word if or for for righteous actions in a way. What they are trying to say. Uppermost for is the uppermost in righteousness. Is the uppermost of holiness? It means he is the most holy. The holiest. Yeah. When he yeah. is the most helping of holiness, he is the most helpful. Righteousness. You can take holiness. If that it uh, suits you, you can uh, use the word righteous instead of holiness. Most helping as regards righteous actions. You can say righteousness means righteous actions. So when we have to explain it, can we just say he is the holiest and the most helpful? That's when it okay. comes to reference to context, you will have to write that way. This Because you are just like uh, just trying to analyze each word, and we're missing the overall meaning. Is it we okay are doing to analysis that? of every word, and then when we put into bracket, we use our intelligence to make it in a meaningful translation, translated sentence. Because even in the translation on the next page, it says, "Who is the uppermost of holiness? Who is the most helping of holiness?" Hmm. Hmm. Which doesn't really uh, 
<laughs> which could have been the most helpful thing. Translation, we have to go exactly the way it is. When it comes to explanation, you use your wisdom and put it in the right way the way you want to give an explanation. Okay. Or am I missing something? Do they no, mean something else? Missing. Most helping no, no, of no, holiness? No. No. no there is nothing okay. missing. Okay. Thank you. Then, Vistas Ragao Zarkushri Yazamaidea. Vista is all, ne? All entire. Entire. Okay. Elsa, you were going to check if it's whisper or whisper, na? short e or long e. Madam, it doesn't matter much. Don't go into all that nitty gritty. Okay, okay. It's okay. So either it is, is okay. It is long e only. Whisper ma long e chef. Because in Gujarati also it is long e. Okay, okay. Whisper, okay? Okay. That is Sravao is accusative plural of Sravang, meaning teaching from root through to here. There is one more word for teaching. It is that root. If you have come across that root for teaching. Tongue. Huh? Tongue. Root, something to teach. Our stern word for teach. Takesha. Huh? Takesha. Perfect. Kish. Kish. Kish or kish. No, it was sung. Sung word pan aave. Huh? Sung or sasti. Okay. Yes, Ravauke Zarkushtri is pertaining to Zoroastrian. Zartushtri Yazamide. So we venerate all Zoroastrian teachings. Zartushtri. But it is Vispa Cha Varshta Shyotna Yazamide. Again, Vispa is uh, the same. What is Cha? Cha is related to Vispa Cha Ma. Cha is for? And. Cha is used for? And. A and the end. Okay. Enclitic particle. Okay. Vispa Cha Varshta. What is Varshta? Excuse is Bu Varshta. Yeah, just Sorry, please. sir. So that end that you just said, Vispacha, hmm. that end is, I think it's missing from the translation. Can you have a look? When you when you do, when you write, we venerate all well done actions and... No, no, we worship all Zoroastrian teachings and we worship all well done actions. Haji, Haji, Haji. Yeah. Yeah. And we worship. Yeah, it is there in the overall paragraph translation. A and D appears. Mm, not that one. It is there. The page. We'll read. It's there. Okay. Okay. Vispacha Varshta. Varshta is who Varshta. So who is good and Varshta is action. From root, which is Varis. the Where is. Okay. Where is. Or what is ta then? Ta as uh, suffix is pertaining to. Um, ta, is ta is past participle. Uh -huh. Verse ta. The way we did irista. Irista na murvano yezamite. Have you done? Irista is a word. This verse ta is past participle. So, well done actions. Mispacha verse ta. Shyotna. Shyotna is from root. Shu to act. Did. Manang vachang ne shyotna. Three words go together normally in our prayers. Manang, Vachang and Shyotna. Manang is for thought. Vachang will be your speech or word. And Shyotna will be your actions. Vistacha Varshta Shyotna Yazamide. And what kind of actions? Varshta Cha and Vaishyamna Cha. Varshta Cha is what is already done in the past. Varshta Cha. See, uh, remember, uh, mind you, there is a subtle difference. Huh? The in earlier word, Vispacha Varshta is who Varshta. There is a herb, silent, who Varshta no her chai. Whereas after Yazami, it is, it is only Varshta chai. It is not who Varshta cha. There is a such small subtle difference, mind you, in these two words. One is Varshta cha, who Varshta cha in the sense, and the one appearing after Yazami is your Varshta cha, means actions well done. Verse tacha, those already done. Actions done is verse tacha. My Vareshyam nacha is futuristic. Actions that will be done in the future. Vareshyam nacha. So then the translation will become we venerate all well done actions. That is your Vispacha of Varsha Shyotna Yazamide. Bracket ma those done because we don't have a relative pronoun. So those in bracket, those done will be verse tacha and those that will be done with Vareshyam nacha. So now, if you look at the whole paragraph translation, 
it's where rakum beres in time is my days we venerate the exalted lord pachiti ye maurem mazdam is who is aura mazda ye maurem mazdam pachi suche yo ashahe apanotemo that is who is uppermost in righteousness uppermost yo ashahe apanotemo pachi yo ashahe jagmushtemo is who is most helping of righteousness then we venerate all zoroastrian teachings that is vispas rabau zarthustri yazamaita we venerate all zoroastrian teachings and we venerate and we venerate all golden actions that is vispa cha varshta shyapna yazamaita varshta is well done and shyapna is actions well they more or less mean the same thing action and deeds but we have taken two separate words to denote two separate ideas so well done actions those done is varshta cha and those that will be done in future is varishyam nacha now move to paragraph 9 yenge hatam whose turn is it how will be next so mari is a kaina who is trying to get in aha i will be the other ji ha ji lai liti so ji who is next my turn keti pate keti pate ha ji keti until start keti until start right reading para 9 yenge hatam yenge hatam वेरी कॉमन पेरेग्राफ रिपीटेटिव पेरेग्राफ एंड alongside ashem and yatha this is this some three important prayers that we can say for zoroastrians would be ashem vohu yatha ahu vairyo and the third prayer is yenge hatam okay yeah. so we'll learn the translation part of yenge hatam now yenge is grammatically singular genitive singular genitive singular of ya relative pronoun who which who uh, which or here in this sentence we are uh, taking it as among A M O N G. Okay, yenge ma. What is hatam? Hatam is genitive plural of hunt. Hunt means doing hunts. The way we say hastan, budan, dedan, hastan, hasti wala, the one who is alive. In uh, our uh, Satuna Karda prayer, we say hastan as a word, hasti wala. Okay, so that is hunt, living one, existing one, derived from root a to b. Then, okay. Yes, ne. Yes, ne is a ending with b locative singular. Yes, ne. So in yasna, locative singular of yasna. Now yasna will be what? Um, adjective Sorry. noun. Participle suit as a yasna will be. Chitra. Yasna will be. What form is this yasna? Abhovi. चेंज टू स तो यसना थी गई ओके यसना यसना इज प्रॉपर नाउन इंडिकेटिंग रिचुअल रिचुअल सेरेमनी आर टी एस में पैटी इज प्रपोस्ट पोजीशन सॉरी सर सॉरी सर सर सो व्हाई इज इट व्हाई व्हाई इज इट यसने व्हाई इज इट यसने एंड देन यसना इट इज यसने वी हैव व्हाट वी हैव रिटर्न इज यसने इज लोकेटिव सिंगुलर ऑफ यसना फ्रॉम but in any case ashat is ablative singular so meaning is from asha 
there is a style of writing so you need not worry on that okay yes ne thayo paiti vango vango is good so paiti no please pacho meaning bolso paiti is on upon in post position govern this is again locative in walu che paiti is in che meaning is in to in yes ne yes ne ne vaste no che paiti pachi vango nominative singular nominative it is a uh, vongo can be derived as accusative singular also so hmm. it is accusative singular of vayam and yang is what yang is the termination for which tense comparative comparative yang comparative adjective ah, <laughs> comparative <laughs> adjective it's not tense huh? so better मजदाओ मजदाव वीज मजदाव अवरो नॉमिनेटिव सिंगुलर ना बे वर्ड छे પછી વૈથા વર્ડ છે વૈથા ઇઝ પરફેક્ટ ટેન્સ વેરી રેર વી કમ અક્રોસ પરફેક્ટ ટેન્સ પરફેક્ટ ટેન્સ નો ટર્મિનેશન અથ અ ડેશ ડેશ આતરે ડેશ ડેશ અરે વાલા છે વી ડોન્ટ વી હેવ ઇગ્નોર્ડ પરફેક્ટ ટેન્સ બીકોઝ વેરી રેરલી ઇટ ઇઝ યુઝ સો વેલ આઈ હેવ ટોલ યુ ટુ લે ઇમ્પોર્ટન્સ on uh, present tense imperfect tense imperative and potential both so very rarely you come across such words so that is when you remember vaitha vaitha is related to vidya with to know vaitha perfect tense for us third person singular from root with to know the meaning of the word is he has known perfect tense hmm. then ashat and hacha what is ashat ta ending is what ta ending will be ablative Uh, uh, ending ability once but uh, uh, it is uh, imperfect tense third person singular also sometimes ha huh? asha is here in this case ability singular of asha and then the full notes you have to write about asha root or to go all that asha hacha is post position governing ability which is from or on account of hacha hach to for Acha means from. It's a from Asha value. That's it. What is yaun gamcha? Yaun gamcha is cha is enclitic particle meaning a and b and added to yaun gam. Yaun gam is genitive plural of ya, relative pronoun meaning who and which. Now yaun gamcha is uh, related to the next two words. Ah, tasta ne tausta ne vaste cha. આવશે meaning women This is ta is masculine, but the ta is feminine. Then, pachi yaza mai de chak. Last word. I jara translation. It is not a very straightforward. Ki we worship so and so yaza mai de righteous Lord of Right. It is not that way. It is little different. Uh, the beginning words may come in avastha as the ending word. So jara jumble valu chhe. We we'll have to understand. One minute. Now. You want me to show you share screen and then show you each of the words? 
I think that will be better uh, for sir, India. Sorry. One more question. These are not nominative. These are accusative, right? You are saying it's Vango, Mazdao, Ahuro. They are all accusative singular. We venerate those men and women whom Ahura Mazda is known to be better. Vango is accusative. And Ahuro, uh, Mazdao, Ahuro also, right? Ahura Mazda will be nominative. Nominative, huh? One minute, Maro. One open it. Chai ya. Just hold on. Huh? I'll do share screen and then correlate each of the words. Okay. Share screen. Chalo. So. Then among the living ones, so among is Yenge, and living ones is Hatam, and Art is Den. So Den among the living ones is Yenge, Hatam, and Art. Three words together. But the last word Yezamide is uh, we start over here. Yezamide we worship those men and those women is Tascha and Taoscha. We worship those men and those women. Tascha, Taoscha, Yezamide. So last. Three words appear over here. Can you see this? Uh, what I marked in blue on my shared screen. No correlated words. But it is whom whom Aura Mazda Whom Aura Mazda has worshipped is Auro. Auro Mazda has known, so that is Auro, Gaitha, and Mazda. Mazda, Auro, Gaitha. Auro Mazda has known. Gaitha is known. Perfect tense no ayo. But it to be better is Vongo. Vyang valuche. To be better. To be better in Yasna. In Yasna is Yesne. On account of Asha. Now here, uh, translation wo gandu language. Listen to me. Translation is uh, just for the plain translation. But when you have to do an interpretation, or if when you have to do an explanation to some people, they will say, "Kya isu? What kind of translation is this? It it doesn't make sense. Uh, what we are trying to do. This is pure translation. But here, what it is trying to say is, "Kya Aura Mazda understand and looks at all your actions. He is aware of all the actions of men and women." And accordingly, uh, as per their actions or karma, hmm. there is reward or punishment. That is what it is trying to say. Among the living ones, we worship those men and women whom Aura Mazda is known to be better in Yasna on account of Asha. On account of Asha means on account of righteousness. Could it could be done instead of writing the proper noun Asha, you may write on account of uh, righteousness or. Uh, Aura Mazda knows the righteous actions what these men and women do accordingly. The judgment will be given. That is what it is. The core meaning of this Yenge Hatam prayer is. I'll stop share. Stop Sir, share. Karo. Can, so can, can you kindly Ajit. repeat again, please? I just so, what, what Yenge Hatam as a prayer implies is here. For the purpose of plain translation, we we need to figure out which word fits in where, and then we have made some, we have attempted to make one meaningful trans translation, translated sentence among the then among the living ones we venerate those men and women whom our master. But it is difficult to, uh, it's a kind of for for a newcomer like you, it it is difficult. It is not a very straightforward translated uh, paragraph the way we have done previous one to eight paragraphs where. It really makes sense. Also, okay, we venerate so and so DT, then the adjectives pertaining to that DT. So that was a very straightforward way of doing the translation for the first eight paragraphs. Yenge atom, for the hard case, it is not very uh, translation. For translation, I showed you which word fits in where, and that's how we have arrived. But when you write also this, then among the living ones, we venerate those men. 
Aurum is there is no one to be better in this. If you if you talk to a third person who is not an Avastan student, they will say, "Guys, so mazak kare. What are you talking? We can't understand anything." It is is just pure translation. What is written over here, but to a common man, it is not making much sense. So that interpretation is what I am giving you. That all your actions on account of Asha, the last word Asha, Asha, you change to righteousness mm-hmm. on account of righteous deeds. So whatever the righteous deeds that is done by men and women in this world, Aurum Mazda is known to be better means he keeps a track of all your actions. What it is trying to say. Among the living ones, all your actions, good, bad, whatever, there is an account maintained, and accordingly, there could be you are in for reward or punishment. That is what it is trying to say as the core meaning of India Atam Priya. So, um, sir, follow. Can you explain the origin of Vaitha? Sorry, how do you get Vaitha? Can you explain this from me? Vaitha is Atha A. टर्मीनेशन इज अने so vid okay. vid is a strong form weak form will be tha ta tha da da they are from the dental ka class so they can be used interchangeably so your vid guna form will be vaid or vaid and a is added so it is vaitha okay and when it is perfect it means he has known karine that's your meaning so vaid plus a ha ah. Now we have about nine minutes, and we'll be starting very soon with Atashniyash next week onwards. So I'll just run through a basic presentation, small presentation on Atashniyash. What is in it for you? I'll just run through a small five seven in five seven minutes. I'll wrap up so that you don't have to again log in again. Can you see this first slide? Next week, I hope you will be ready with your Atashniyash notes. Huh? We'll start yes. with Atashniyash next week onwards. Avan ke is over, so half the portion is over. Sir, you all know Atashniyash. Atash, Haji. No, sir. Then I will do the rest. Okay, okay. So Atashniyash is dedicated to fire, one of the many creations of Dada Rohramasta. Okay. What is the Yazadas name? Yazad new name so for Atash Niyashma. Ada. 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 Very good. Ada is not really. It is Ada. Ada Yazad. It's Ada. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Not Korset. No, no. Korset for Sanne Master, my ji. Sanne Master. It is for Sanne. Okay. Fire is considered as son of Aura Mazda. uh any comments <laughs> anyone knows anything more than this fire is considered son of aurum mazda atnash putra agre mazda very good very good very good okay now directly jumping on to um wishes desires sought from fire as you find in atashnyash prayer ke direct mein lakhelu chhe we'll do word translation word by word possibly these are some sentences uh, which i have picked up from the translation part just to show you ke what you will be learning in atashnyash so there are wishes or desires when you as a worshipper when you pray in front of fire so we are asking for happiness and to the man which man who is giving who is giving this kind of offering with fuel in hand fuel in hand itle petrol nahi ha fuel in hand itle <laughs> okay. With baris money man, barsam in hand is not really done by all the worshippers. But if you may do this veneration through someone, through the priest, so barsam is used by the priest. He'll hold the barsam in hand while doing the prayers for you. With milk in hand, you are not really keeping in hand, na thi. But so 
translation talks this way asmo jasto baresmo jasto go jasto so that is why the, the pure translation talks of with milk in hand oh. really we don't hold this in hand but we keep it as an offering with milk in hand and with havana in hand again this is a pure translation perspective but we use all these elements while doing the worship of fire what is such a worshiper fire wishes that fire be kept burning shining and blazing Do, would you want fire to keep burning or no Yes. Everywhere, everywhere. Even in your body, your body also has a type of fire. I think uh, you refer to all the. Start reading the short notes. Now is the time to open that attachment. What I have sent to you, open that attachment for all the short notes related to fire attachment and start reading. So it, now you can correlate. So fire, we wish that fire continuously keeps burning in each of our fire temples. Or maybe even Atash Dadga at home, Atash Adaran or Atash Beram. There are three different stage. I mean, three different class types of fire. I hope some of you know that, na? Atash Dadga, which is the highest one type of fire. Beram. Okay. Would anyone know how many different types of fire are mixed together to form the Atash of Atash Beram? Sixteen. Very good. Sixteen. Okay. Or after Shadaran, it could be. Four. Four. Very good. Four. Nine. One five. Nine. Nine. Who said nine? One five. One five. Dad. No. Or after Shadaran, it is four. 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 Four इंटेलिजेंस विजडम के जल्दी जल्दी तम लोग ने सेकंड इयर थर्ड इयर आवड़ी जाए बढ़ो फ्लुएंसी ऑफ टंग एंड वी विश फॉर अ चाइल्ड विथ ऑल दिस क्वालिटीज वी वॉन्ट इन अ चाइल्ड Will be an elder leader, famous who can bring order in the world, become a prime minister, well-grown, self-achieving, and who can bring overall prosperity in the area where you are staying. So these are all wishes desired from fire. What now, is can you share this with us? We can take a printout of this also. I want each of you to make this and send to me. <laughs> you want, you want us to write as an assignment. But how, sir? We will do it, na. I am just giving a gist of what is in it for you, because you may say that whether attachments will be the same as uh, Havan ke same pattern, we worship Yazamida, Yazamida, attach Yazamida. Can you finish that, sir? Or there is something different in that? That is why I am running through this. What is Prasho Kareti? It literally means renovation or change. According to Zoroastrian cosmology, it refers to the final event when the world will be free from all evil. There will be no decay, hunger, thirst for anyone. That is for sure. Carry the ideal stage. Have you come across these words? Asnam cha, shapnam cha. Asnam means yes. daytime, and next shapan means night. Shapan. But the relationship of fire to the worshipper. So there is a bonding. Bonding develop between fire and worshipper. So, like a silent sitting friend, fire. Why is silent sitting? Because it is on the throne. It is not a moving element, moving entity. Enquires what the walking worshipper. We worship. We walk to the nearest place of worship, fire temple. Has brought. It enquires silent sitting. This is illustrated by the line. What you learn in Atashne. Chim hakha hashe baraiti. Very important. Very good. A uh, small paragraph. What we have, Chief Minister Ashe Bharati, is the question: What silently Atish Parsha or fire is inquiring? Has he brought anything for me when you visit the fire temple? Achiti uh, adjectives used to describe fire. It is uh, these are all the adjectives uh, what we come across in Atish Nayesh: courageous, powerful, worthy of worship, worthy of adoration. A warrior giving help. Atash bearers or samangar? No, it is not. Beshaza, beshaza word is for full of health, healthy. Then what are the 
blessings that you get from fire. So Aura Mazda is pleased with the worship who carries as offering wood and offering with balsam and pomegranate. So that is why pomegranate is very important in each of our ritual ceremonies. The wood should be dry and inspected. We we cannot offer the wood type of wood which is moist. Okay, inspected in light with prayer. Fire in turn blesses worshipper with herd of animals, cattle, multitude of heroes. Now, someone like Anaita may say, "Is that Musu Kara sa hai domestic animals na kaha palas? I don't have a place. I stay in a flat." Hmm. Or Nazdin may ask this question. so this is prehistoric na all these hmm. prayers so in those days uh, one would be considered prosperous if they have flock of animals if they have brave children in their family active and efficient life so herd of animals is related to your level of prosperity that is what it is trying to say worshipper is granted the wish to live with joyful life those nights that you live in the Can you see the screen? Share screen. Yes. Okay. You see about the bere besha za besha za nase. Uh, so normally, beshas uh, related to health. The uh, one which you, the deity which you know of is Ardi Besh Ameshaspan. That is why we say Ardi Besh Yash. Uh, we we recite Ardi Besh Yash or the Nirang of Ardi Besh Yash usually. But beshas uh, is also uh, there are some more yazatas. One is home yazat. Home yazat is also for beshas uh, health. Uh, we also find mention of this beshas in Atash Nyayesh. That is why we have written held giving, and um, even Ava Diso Nyayesh, Ava Yashma. That is mentioned. But main main uh, deity will be Ardi Beshias, and then Home Yast also Home Yazar for uh, health. Okay, we start continue. Um, um, we are hardly we have about uh, three more slides. So blessings, uh, continuation of blessings to the worshipper. Uh, I mentioned about worshipper. Uh, Aura Mazda is pleased with worshipper who is giving this kind of ripe offering. Pomegranate wood, uh, wood should be dry as I said, and fire. Okay, I can't tell you. So we are we are through with this slide. Okay, next slide. Types of fire. Types. Of, have you come across any of these words? Atosh Berezo Savang, Atosh Bohu Priya. Have you heard? No sir. No sir. Yes sir. The sixteen fire domes. No sir. 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 Okay. Have you heard any any priest reciting some jashan or afargan prayer wherein he would have mentioned these words? Anaita. Yes, Prabhu. Priya. Have you heard? Afargan, afargan prayers or during the mukta and gathas. Afargan Ama. prayer. Ama. 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 Apna astuji or banet. हाँ जी हाँ हाँ तेरा समझायो चाली समझायो हाँ ओके ओके बिना नहीं सही मालूम होते No worries, no problem. But you have heard these words, na? And my question oh, is, did you know about it? Mazrin, keep your camera on. Mazrin, Rokshana, 
exalted fire burns on its own does not require food or water that is berezo savang and the next one is atash vohu friya what is vohu vohu means good and friya yes. is friend the fire of good friend or the one which is burning in your body is atash vohu friya in each of our body that is atash o friya requires food and water okay fire in human being have you come across the word urvar urvaram अडाने पताम उर्वराम हैव यू हर्ड उर्वर इज प्लांट प्लांट ना सो आफ्टर सुरवाजिस्ट इज द फायर इन प्लांट दैट इज व्हाई प्लांट वी कंसीडर एज लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट आफ्टर सुरवाजिस्ट देन वी हैव आफ्टर वाजिस्ट वाजिस्ट इज वायु रिलेटेड टू स्काई दैट इज लाइटनिंग आफ्टर वाजिस्ट स्विफ्टेस्ट फायर इन फायर ऑफ लाइटनिंग दैट इज आफ्टर वाजिस्ट and the last one is atash spanish fire found in atash beram dabga atash adaran at home that is atash spanish now refer to all the notes anaita if you are saying something you are muted couldn't hear anything no sir no sir sorry okay chalo i think that's the last homage and to the or usmay ujareshwa oh fire So next we will start with Usma Ujareshwa Aura, beginning. Sir, I slides. Are we there? Johnny, are you there online? What will you do Please. with the slides? <laughs> Just to. <laughs> I would like. Sir, last four slides. Last two slides. Very important. When you have short notes, refer to all the short notes. This becomes very easy for you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, sir, <laughs> exam correct? Huh? Exam. I have to see when the Diwali vacation starts. So before October, I think Diwali is around twenty six October. Twenty six. In October, Diwali is what Monday or twenty four to seventh or six November. Okay. Basic to October twenty one. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Okay. We translate the following passage. Okay. Well, first uh, question number one is translation of the passages. Any four out of five, mm -hmm. so you have a choice, and thirty-two marks it carries, which means one translation paragraph. Translation of one paragraph is about eight marks. So you have to write simple. Our start to English. You don't have to write every word. Ka analysis, no. Huh? Okay. There is a difference. Some people start doing idea man, accusative singular of idea man, ishim. You don't have to do that and waste time. Otherwise. It will take morning to evening, full day. Uh, sir, sir. Uh, sir, sir. Ah, ji. Ah, ji. Ah, ji. This paper is already shared uh, in the group itself. So, any other or previous paper, if possible, uh, you can share it, if possible. I don't sir. mind. I am just giving a list of. No, sir. We don't have. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Ah, ji. This is not being shared. This is not shared. Yes. This is not shared. I don't think. What I was going to propose at the end of the semester was I had a I had a few extra papers of basic to final exam. Okay. Okay. This is not shared. Final exam I had carried a few extra papers, so I just distributed to Havobi, Kava, Sankal, whoever I met at the JJ school. Okay. Anyways, this is just for explanation. The paper how it appears, question paper. What that's what Shida's auntie wanted to know. So first question will carry thirty two marks, four out of five. राइट सर एक मिनट व्हेन यू से ट्रांसलेट द फॉलोइंग पैसेजेस आई डिट इट खाली बड़ू वर्ड टू वर्ड इंग्लिश में ट्रांसलेट यस मैडम फुल ट्रांसलेशन यू हैव टू राइट ना द वे वी डिड यंगे आतम के हम करियो टम्बर जी बेनरेट द लॉर्ड हु इज औरम अस ऑलरेडी ऑफ टू राइट ओके आइरियम अनेम righteous lord of righteousness pachiti who is what courageous amavantem who is victorious verethra zanam away from harm vidbe shangem vispa 
or whisper bass shout taurvayan tem is what destroying all acts of malice ha uh, taurvayan tem titter and tem is what overcoming all acts of malice whisper ne beshavis acts of malice the ariyaman is that no description che we worship when the desirable ariyaman is and then so that is how we are who is uppermost for hell who is for foremost e bada akho lakhano yenge atam same way if you feel yenge atam is very boring to omit kari deo translation ma four out of five so you have a choice to omit hmm. then atro aure masla putra is from atash nihaish which we will study again rafid rai boru tashan as a paragraph is from atash nihaish this is also from atash nihaish so two from havange three from atash nihaish uh you if you write all five if you have time you may write all five also and i'll consider the best four answers whenever there is a choice now this is also restricted only to my terminal exam when i am setting the paper and i am correcting for final exam i am not giving you the choice of a best 10 or best 5 that is left to the external examiner to decide how he wants to do the correction but here i am giving you a choice and option that if you have time and if you can write more you may write more you may uh, instead of four you may uh, write all the five and then i'll pick the best four even if matlab the the best four marks in saying uh, answer b you have scored only two marks but uh, the rest you have scored uh, three four marks so i'll not consider two marks but i'll consider some total of the highest marks explain any eight words out of 15 underline in that is this is where your grammatical explanation appears so pick up the uh, the choice is yours pick up any eight Eight words words. underline words and give a grammatical analysis explanation so each mark each word will carry two Two marks marks. 16 marks over here so the ones that have the little blue line in between those Ah, those words no no blue nahi the connecting words one minute i think this is a word document so it doesn't appear very correctly hang on now let me see Uh, Lose the space, ignore it. Yes, Madam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll open the PDF version. If we I if I open the PDF version, there will be more clarity. Huh? One minute. Sir, so you, sir, you'll be sending us this these papers, right? If you want, I will send. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Please. Is it clear? Yes, sir. 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 Okay. Yes, yes. So, okay. here's a my the simplest word for you to get two marks. Underline word. Titter in them. Mathrem. Yes. So I have underlined a few words. Yenge, genitive singular of ya. You don't have to write much. Relative pronoun ave to. No root, nothing. So pick up those easy words if you want. And if you are brave enough, pick up the difficult ones also. No problem. <laughs> Here also you may pick, uh, you may write explanation for twelve words instead of ten or eight. Aur rahe. What is he? He ending will be aur rahe. Simple, isn't it? What will be this garoish? Anyways, mazda dhata hai. I again, rafed rai. This I chete native singular. So pick up, pick up those words where you. If you are familiar with any of those words, then write grammatical explanation. That is your question number two. But the transliteration, I think this was on request. But at times, I we don't ask transliteration. This is only transliteration. So D, A, E, small E, long E, T, Y, O. You have to write in English transliteration. What you have done in first year. Now, this, because this is a bacha question, it only has four marks, and you have to do only one, huh? Any one paragraph from question okay. one above, but the A B C D E may say only one you pick and choose your choice and write in English mm-hmm. translation. But if you write short notes, I think lot of short notes are already circulated. Mm-hmm. You may innovate. You may write something better outside, out of box. You may write that way also refer to if you know something more than what is already shared with you, because usually short notes we were not circulating in earlier times. just because now things are available we just share it as ready made for you otherwise short notes people have to innovate and write on their own so again here there are multiple choice i think 100% choice is given to you dana maresman mitra pravashi prashok ereti so many four out of eight you have to write so 100% choice is given to you if you feel that you know five or six you may write for six short notes 
each carrying three marks these are short notes so the marks are three look at the marks when you are writing otherwise you will end up wasting so much time because oh i know so much about barisman let me it keep writing end of the day it is only three marks so balance it out balance your paper So how many lines for short notes? See, sir, there are some words which for which you don't have too many things to write. Uh, if it is a three mark, then ideally at least have some three four meaningful sentences about that particular word. Minimum. More the merrier. At least if you have six, so definitely half mark each per sentence for meaningful sentence. So. Mm -hmm. some words may have you have you have more things to write for some words some words you may not have many things so depends you pick and choose but you translate and explain with reference to context that also we have given you ready made now what is it that we expect reference to context ideally you should be doing on your own but we have given you the answers so please refer to that reference to context i think you have done in your school days ha na So this sentence is given to you. Mitrem vooru goyai tem hazangra goshem bevare chashmanem yezamai tem. Here also I have given you lot of choice. Only four out of eight. So uh, the pattern is given. Refer to that. Then uh, I think things will be clear. You may write. Question, okay. Question, above line appears question. in avange. The starting Sorry. line will be. The above line is extracted from havange. But you can write about what havange or in brief. What is Havan? It is a study about what DT is Havan. Such a that you can give as an introduction. So that will be a second sentence, uh, sentence number two and three. Havan. Then you write literal meaning, translation of this uh, sentence, and then give an explanation. Okay, it is pertaining to Mary Z or Mitra, and these are all the qualities, adjectives pertaining to Mitra. Vooru goya thing. What is explanation of Vooru goya thing? So Mitra is responsible for sunlight. And distribution of sunlight over pastures. That is Vooru Goya team. Then Mitra also is uh, for promise contract. So hence it has thousand eyes, ten thousand eyes, thousand years. All that you have to write. Give an explanation. That is reference to context. There you One can write. One question. Bolo, madam. Can I ask? Sorry, 100%. the ref reference to context. So I am going to say Moklav Yuj. समझीडी It is just to give you broad guidelines about how to attempt RTC. We have covered at least about eight nine sentences, and based on that same so formula, you have to write. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. The email of fourteen July, you know, uh, refer uh, page eighty seven to ninety one has got reference to context for Akashnais and Havan. Okay. Yeah, but is it PDF version? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's, it's come out clearly. It's PDF version, same version as you have given Artisnet. I mean I could print out clearly. So. No, no, not that. If it is, it is. It's the it is the latest. Kava Sankal, the one latest mail referring to the mail. Yes. Is it Ajay. is it a PDF file or Word file? So it's a PDF file. Are you talking about the Artisnet? Let, let me just check the mail. Yes. Let me just check the. It's. Yes, sir. It was in your latest uh, PDF, Akash Nyayesh, and reference to context is the last bit of it. Last four pages. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes.
every day i am checking the mail i have not received so i will have to check up again okay let okay. uh so okay. pattern is you. given on the similar line now again one more thing kavas uncle now what you should do your subject matter is or only two text either it is havangi or atash nyaish correct right huh? now mm -hmm. i have given you see attempt four out of eight it could possibly be that okay you are very familiar with havangi and you don't want to attempt atash nyaish ka arti same so then your covering may what you should do again assuming you are attempting three three answers of havangi and then again balance two or three of atash nyaish your covering basic when you start rtc na you just have to write the, the below three sentences what i am going to attempt are from havange give that basic introduction about havange so that you don't have to do that writing work again and again understood and waste time but do it systematically so that the examiner can read properly the common things that you want to cover na in havange ke above lines are from the below three sentences are extracted from havange what is havange it pertains to what So all that common je chit chay you can write at the beginning and then you attempt A B C. Okay. Same way again you write the below three sentences are from Atash Nyaish. Atash Nyaish is pertaining to other user as a fire worshipper, whatever introduction. And then you give the uh, one or two lines ka R T C explanation. So that will save on your time because you are not typing. So you can do copy and paste. So do that way. <laughs> Sir, is it the whole Atishnyas? So only some sentences. No, 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 no. Full Atishnyas will be second term portion. Right now, it will be paragraph one to ten. Okay. Paragraph one. Okay. What we have structured. Paragraph one to ten. Then eleven to fourteen, we are keeping reserving for second term because it is more repetitive in nature. And then fifteen to twenty are good ones, good paragraphs. Uh, something which makes sense. So we have start. Uh, we have fifteen to twenty as coverage for first term portion. Yes. Uh, one to ten followed by fifteen to twenty. Yes. That is your first term portion. The balance will be second term portion. Yes. Thank you. Now lot of effort has gone into making of this after Shniyesh for you mm -hmm. with all easy words, vocabulary build up, everything at the end of every paragraph. Please go through that document. Yes. She has put in the whole year making this document for us, Lina Setna. Please say thank thank you, you to her. <laughs> thank you to her. Huh? Pre-cover. Well, please translate thank and explain you. with reference to context. Have a look at the RTC. Even the RTC ka document was prepared by her after the midterm exam. Okay, this is what we expect you to write in this pattern. Kali lucky the same. Okay, above line attached niyash. As if it is an SMS WhatsApp. About line, not even a proper grammatical correct sentence. WhatsApp okay. message, about line from Atas Niyash, and then meaning direct meaning of two words out of five in the sentence, and then how can you get marks for that? And every new question, please start on a new page, huh? Every new question, sub questions may continue on the same. Every new question, question one, two, three, four, five, please number them properly. Okay. Now here you will say there is no numbering, so why should I number it? But it makes okay fine. Mitram is number one for you. Fravarane will be number two for you. Hada Zothram will be three for you. So put it that way. A B C D E F. Don't say that numbering to not give. So why should I do the numbering? Okay. okay. So that is your reference okay. to context. Question number five. Here also lot of choice is given. Now these are some long notes. Write a note on G with special reference to Havan G. So general notes about G. There's a bit of information already shared with you. You can write something more over and about this. How many days do we have? Uh, gay, what do you mean by day? Division of a day, time-wise, which day when, and then special reference to Havan day, which means your write a note on day, general note on day will carry at best two marks or two and a half three marks, and then special reference to Havan day should ideally carry more marks, more weighted. So you have to write. Explanation, a brief translation. If someone asks, "What is this Havan Gay as a prayer?" What will you answer? So that is what you have to write as special reference to Havan Gay. But it is you will study it is. I will just run through that small presentation. What are the boons asked for and blessings received? No, these are fairly, frankly speaking, question number six. Jo hai na, it is fairly standard questions. It is fairly. I mean, there is nothing much that an examiner can ask other than this. More or less, 
it is you have to just know the your subject know english and write properly and on that 7 marks 8 marks 15 marks in short notes okay so that is question number 6 uh, long notes that this is unseen unseen means you know the words but then you have to use your intelligence and figure out whether it is verb mm-hmm. pronoun noun where is my actionable word and then do translate into english any age <laughs> here also lot of choice is given so do this So this Thank is you, to sir. familiarize yourself with Avesta as a language. If there is a mm-hmm. if there is a sentence which appears, mm-hmm. and where you know most of the words, but how do how do you structure them in a proper sentence? Rot auro mazdao spita mai zartush try. Can anyone answer this? Rot auro mazdao spita mai zartush try. Did she did not taste hoty, ho na? Yeah, yeah. Those folks are first. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> बोलो बोलो श्रीनाथिंग यू नो in this sentence nazneen nazneen why are you so quiet what is perenomongem nahi ji i don't know you don't know perenomongem jasmine aunty do you know jasmine irani what is i know it's something to, it's something to do with the moon mongem is moon okay, perenom i don't know waxing okay, or not i don't know have you not come up with pere as the word what is root pere to what what is your root pere पौर्वीम All this pere to feel, so it is feel pere to feel. Now what is pere no mongem stand for then? If if I say pere to feel, then pere no mongem will stand for full moon or the big moon. Ah, ji. Correct. Pere no mongem is full moon. Ma, so what will be the sentence? Pere no mongem ma, translation. To be venerate. <laughs> venerate the deity of the full moon. <laughs> Something like that. Venerate righteous full moon, Lord of righteousness. Ah, I have right. shown you how full to prove moon. Ashavane Masheratum. Yes. I have already shown you Ashavane Masheratum how to use. So many sentences means when it comes as Ashavane Masheratum, yes, I mean you just write be venerate, holy or righteous, Mr. So and So, Lord of righteousness. So what is missing? Karan or Mangal? So be venerate righteous full moon, Lord of righteousness. That is how you have to write. नेमो एनी वर्ड्स फैमिलियर वर्ड वाटर वेरी गुड व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट अशोनो स्ट्राम स्टार वोट इज नेमो नेमो इतने नमन वेरी गुड नमन नमन दा गुड नमस्ते नेमो नेमंग ओके सो नमस्ते विल बी वी यूज्ड एज होमेज मतलब नेमो ने वास्ते वी यूज्ड अ वर्ड कोरिलेटेड वर्ड इंग्लिश वर्ड विल बी होमेज सो होमेज ऑन टू अपम होमेज ऑन टू वाटर होमेज ऑन टू वाटर देन होमेज ऑन टू जेमा व्हाट इज जेमा जमिया डेजर्ट ग्राउंड अर्थ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ग्राउंड होमेज ऑन टू वाटर अर्थ then plants plants very good plant, plant. Plant. then pachi universe sir ashono vate ashno vate cha this is also ashono basically what is water wind is water it wind? Is wind. wind yeah very good wind water is wind why, perfect why, why? so righteous wind or holy wind and again stram what is stram 
गोल्डन रूल इज वेन 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 न्यू सेंटेंस अपियर्स ना एनी टाइम फॉर अवस्था और पेलवी first find out the actionable word figure out your tense that is why your tenses terminations are very important i have been telling you once you know your terminations you have to identify that word that that, that is a key word because action to start us and then all your nominative accusative noun everything will fall okay so first figure out your a verbal actionable word in the sentence i am i am very good Bio, bio I am protection. So Correct. Sorry. Very good. Protection. I Perfect. I am protection. Okay. Pachi. Data. Okay. Cha to ignore karo na. Cha is or a n d n ke liye hai. So it is. I am the creator. I am the creator. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. So what is bio pante? Bio will be for what? What protection. should be the root in bio? Bio me root karo. Abhi se kya? Pa. I am the person who protects us. Huh? Root pa. Pa. Very good. Like Root a pa. 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 Like a protector. 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 Pa. Pa. Okay. So I am the protector. Am I Payush? Am I will be what? I am the protector. Okay. Pachi. Data cha ne thrata cha. What is data? Data. Is to give. वेरी गुड फंडामेंटल्स So that is why the need of the R is suffix. Suffix. Identify the suffix and then the word. Pronoun, noun. Pronoun, noun. Pan easy che. But you first you have to find the actionable word. So T kaan che, anti kaan che. If it is T ending, third person singular. Anything which is T ending, anything which is anti will be third person plural. They. Okay. Now, Atash, Spenta, Rakesh, Tara, Yajamai dia. Wow. Yajamai dia. Yatne everything becomes easy. We worship to ask you. Everyone knows we worship. Okay. So, after center, the test star, you have some idea. So, what does it talk about? What is your nominative or accusative? We worship. You have some idea. Is beneficent fire. What is your object? The beneficent fire. Beneficent fire. Correct. Correct. Very good. Very good. We worship the beneficent fire. Comma कर लो and then you write a warrior. 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 Keep a comma and then write a warrior. See sometimes what you do if I mean these are definitely we have struck I have structured in the sense that everything falls in place. But sometimes you have to word use certain words so that becomes a grammatically correct sentence. So you use those words in bracket. जब हम आपका translation में if you see ना somewhere it is in bracket those which If you doesn't make proper sense, then you write certain words in sent, uh, bracket. It is not an exact absolute word which is given here as an Avastan text, but for it to make a proper grammatical sentence, you have you have used these words, so you put them in bracket. But yeah, it is easy, na. Parasar Zartushra Aurem Masdam. Zartushra spoke to Aurem Masdam. Very good, perfect. Parasar is what? Parasar is your actionable word. Hmm. Ask for Aurem. Ah, so Zartushtra. Okay, Aurem Mazdam is subject or object, accusative or nominative. Accusative. Accusative. Very good. Accusative. So there has to be a subject also. Subject kya rega? Zartushtra. Zartushtra. Perfect. So the O is nominative. 
सो नाव यू नो वाई द नीड फॉर नॉमिनेटिव वाई शुड आई अरे बहुत कंटालो डिक्लेन मै गॉड इट इज सो डिफिकल्ट डेट इज वॉट हेल्प यू नाव इफ यू हेव डन द डिक्लेनशन तो जटुष्ट आस और आईटा I I still I know this is the second year, but I still don't get it. I don't get why we are declining a proper na- proper name. I mean, I can't imagine calling myself Anito. So why are we saying Zarathustra? <laughs> it is to make sense, na? Huh? It is to make sense uh, when you have but to write. We understand it will make sense. How can you change his name to Zarathustra? <laughs> नेक्स्ट वीक वील मीट बाय एवरी